7NS2D, this is 7th grade, the number system, part 2, subpart D. We are going to be taking fractions and turning them into decimals using long division. It is important to note that when you divide um, fractions, it is only going to be a rational number if your answer comes out to be a terminating decimal or a decimal that repeats eventually. A couple of terms to know. Double check your journals. Make sure that you have these somewhere in there. And if any of these words are not in your journal, please pause the video and define them. This flip chart contains many fractions that I am going to be doing long division. There probably won't be very much talking. I'll talk you through the first couple and then I will just work these out so you can uh, keep your eye on it and follow along. Uh, you can pause the video and try them out anytime you want and check your work. So I'm going to start here with four fifths and I'm going to get the decimal representation of four fifths. You're going to take the numerator, 4, and you are going to divide it by the denominator, which is 5. How many times does 5 go into 4? Four? 4, you cannot do that. 5 does not go into 4 at all. So you're going to add a decimal, bring it straight up, and add a 0. 5 goes into 4, 0 times. 5 goes into 40. Right, so you're going to put the 8 above the number, the last digit that it goes into. So 5 goes into 48 times. 8 multiplied by 5 is 40, and you subtract. 40 take away 40 is 0, which means this is a terminating decimal. It has a remainder of 0. You can't go any further. So final answer, 8 tenths. Next fraction is 3 eighths. You take the top, you divide it by the bottom. 8 cannot go into 3, add a decimal, bring it up, add a 0. 8 goes into 3, 0 times. 8 goes into 30, 3 times. 3 times 8, 24, subtract get 6. Um, 8 cannot go into 6, so you add a 0 and bring it down. 8 goes into 60. How many times? Let's get this extended out here. 8 goes into 60 7 times. 7 times 8 is 56. Subtract, you get 4. Add a 0. Bring it down. You can keep following this process until you see repetition or termination. 8 goes into 40 5 times. 5 times 8 is 40. Subtract. Remainder 0. This is another terminating decimal. We ended up with a remainder of 0. So final answer. 375 thousandths. two-thirds. Alright, do you see a pattern here? I keep getting a remainder of 2 and I keep bringing down a 0 and I keep getting a 6 and another remainder of 2. So this is going to be a repeating decimal. So what is the number that is being repeated? The 6. So it will look like 0 and 6 with a bar above it means that is the number that 
uh, continuously repeats itself? Final answer. That makes it rational. Terminating or repeating. If it does anything else, it would not be rational. It would be irrational. Pause the video and please use long division. Don't use your calculators for these mixed uh, numbers or these fractions. I'm going to take each one of them individually and work them out. Again, this is for um, your benefit. If you think you got it down, um, just look for the answers. And if you want to see it worked out, just watch my uh, process of working them out. And what do you see repeating here? It keeps bringing a remainder of 4, and I carry my zeros down. I keep getting this 40. So the repetitive number is going to be a 3. And only put a bar over the 3, because the 5 and the 8 are not repeating themselves. Final answer. And I think you get the idea here. This fraction I see is not reduced. I think I would like to make my job a lot easier by reducing the fraction before I start the long division. So what goes into 20 and 36 evenly? Let's go with a 4 here. So 4 goes in 5 times, and 4 goes in 9 times. Now let's do our long division. It will be a lot easier. We have smaller numbers to work with. This is an equivalent fraction. We've talked about equivalent fractions. Another repeating decimal answer here. We have a lot of those right now. Final answer. Mixed number. I know that I'm going to have um, three and a decimal answer. So let's just start right now by writing down our three decimal. And then we need to figure out what 9 tenths is. Many of you have probably already figured out that 9 tenths is written in the tenth position, so just throw a 9 after the decimal. But if you'd like to see the fraction worked out long division, I'll do it over on the right here. So 9 divided by 10.
and there is a terminating decimal and the decimal form is 0 0.9 so let's come over to the answer here and put in our decimal final answer this is an improper fraction we can still do our division it's the numerator divided by the denominator 7 divided by 6 now this time 6 does go into 7 one time do our subtraction and we have a remainder now 6 cannot go into the remainder 1 so here's where we add that decimal and bring it up add a 0 and bring it down And here we go again. We have this repetition of a of a six up there, and probably another remainder of four, and a bring down a zero, and you get the idea. So what is repeating? It looks like the repeating decimal is going to be just the six. So we have one point one six, and just the bar over the six. That's the only number that keeps repeating itself. Final answer. Negative 6 and 7 twentieths. So we have negative 6 and something in terms of the fraction. Here, let's go with the long division. I think this is our last one. Numerator divided by the denominator. Extend that out. Five times 20 is 100, and we have a terminating decimal of 35 hundredths. So let's carry that decimal over to the left, and final answer. This video was just a quick reminder how to uh, take a fraction or a mixed number and turn it into a decimal form in your journal to find the given terms on page two if you haven't already done so and write a few sentences on what you learned from the video or if you have any questions please write down those questions and don't be afraid in class to come up and ask me how to do them see you in class